Another nude photo scandal at a Southern California school. This time it involves a student at Calabasas High who's accused of sending nude images of a former friend to other students. Tonight, the victim and her mother shared their concerns and a warning with KTLA. I didn't want to go to school, didn't want to leave my room. I was scared. I was embarrassed. Normally, I was humiliated. A 16 year old sophomore at Calabasas High School shares her humiliation after a former friend, also a minor, allegedly sent images around that she says were manipulated to show her in nude, compromising, even pornographic positions. To my understanding, she manipulated my face onto another image uh, taken from Pornhub of a girl who had, you know, who could have a similar body type to mine. Jacqueline Smith is the girl's mother. She says the photos were sent via Snapchat and airdrop and spread like wildfire. Her daughter says she and the other student got in a fight over a boy and a concert, then chose to share images as revenge. We have now moved on to the <clears throat> case being handled, handed to the DA. And so our court date is April 9th. Possession and distribution of child pornography. Smith says she wants the district to take action. District Superintendent Dr. Dan Stepanowski sent us this statement during our interview with Smith. Quote, we take our student safety very seriously, and we're in the middle of investigating claims from both students and parents against each other. We have also shared all the information we have with Lost Hills Sheriff's Office, but they don't seem to be pressing any charges at this point and don't believe any images were altered. If that information is inaccurate because it is no longer being handled by Lost Hills, this is handled by L.A. County and the juvenile system, which is in Silmar. KTLA legal analyst Allison Treasel says, let this be a warning. Although you may think that this is your very best friend and that you take these photos either consensually or you're horse playing and you're having a really good time and you think it's funny, if that friendship goes south and for whatever reason they post those pictures of you, it can have very long lasting harmful effects on your reputation and your high school experience. And so I really want parents to have that discussion with their students. Please do not fall prey or be the victim or be the person that's disseminating those photos because it really can have not just severe legal consequences, but it can be damaging for the rest of your life. KTLA cannot independently verify the charges because the case involves two minors.